Hey folks, Noble Rambler. New game, Mountain Core. Releases on Steam Early Access May 18. Used to be called King Under the Mountain. I did a Let's Try years ago on this when it first came out after uh, Kickstarter. And enjoyed it. Just kind of sat back waiting for it to grow up, see what it was going to become. And, and uh, eventually it was connected to a publisher that invested quite a bit of, of monies and hours and and progressed it quite a bit. Then that fell apart, went back to the original developer who is going to be releasing it oh, in a week or so. So I want to put together a small mini-series, let you see what the game's about, and hopefully build up a little hype for them. So let's hit new game. I think a medium map is probably good for what we're doing. Uh, random names... Let's go with, oh, what sounds appropriate, Noble Axe, there we go, random seed down here, so many different maps, so many different, uh, you know, procedurally generated, is that the right word? I think it is. Anyway, let's do it. All right, what do we have? Welcome to Mountain Core. This is an early access release with gameplay and features still in development. Your intrepid band of dwarven settlers have chosen this area to found a new colony of their kingdom. Provide food, shelter, and prosperity for them, and who knows, maybe one day this will be the capital of a kingdom of its own. Start the game by selecting a location on the map with open space near the river, clicking the begin button. Okay, similar to Dwarf Fortress, similar to... Oh, Clan Folk is, is one of the more recent games that has similar graphics. I'm looking at the layout here to figure out where I want us to go. But uh, RimWorld, Prison Architect, similar kind of graphics. We've got uh, different things buried in the rocks that we'll find as we mine through. Those, those are gems. I played some of this on my own or ahead of time. and Of course, I played it when it first came out before. And hold the shift button down, it speeds up through this. Trying to find a place that has got trees. Because there's a lot of... We're going to need a lot of wood to build this. We need a lot of stone to build things. And we need access to water. So, <clears throat> also we really like to have good access to the... Uh, what we'll call it coal. And red, I believe, is iron. And I'm not seeing the iron on this map. There's a lot of different features. I popped into one map and it was just full of caves. So there's this will be coal again. Oh, what's down here? Is it red? It is. I believe that is iron. I can't remember the name. Helena? Something like that? I'm not sure. That's yeah, I want to say that's a like a native silver. This looks pretty good here, but no trees without a long walk, and it is a long walk. Hmm. I'm going to buzz through a couple of other maps real quick and see if I can find something. Not so much it's going to be easier, but something that's going to show off the game more. There's a lot of interesting natural, you know, geographic features in some of these maps. This one's kind of boring, so let's see what else is out there. Okay, so this map looks pretty good. We've got access to water. They do take a drink every day. We've got access to wood to construct with. We've got coal nearby. We've got iron nearby. And that might be silver, I'm not sure. Lots of different forests. One, two, three different kinds of trees. Four kinds of trees. Different trees give you different colored wood. Different stone gives you different colored stone. So the products you build with them change their color a little bit and gives you some variety. I was looking or hoping for a map that had more scenery, more variety to it. I've seen maps, or I came across one last night when I was kind of goofing around with this, that had giant mushroom trees. And I'd never seen those before in the game, and I haven't seen them since. I wish I'd written that seed down. <laughs> anyway, let's just go with this. I want to do just a quick little mini-series with this before early access release. 
and then later on after a few more updates I want to go in and do a real series with it and I'll take the time then to go through and find a more exciting map but this will definitely give us the basics so a place to drop in let's drop in between coal and iron with trees and not too far away from water so let's we're gonna dump our wagons in here let's dump them up in this area so wherever you click is where we're going to settle um, a clue I one time there's not a good example here but I had one map I was playing around with this river ran right through like so I chose the space right between the mountain and the river clicked and all my wagons dropped in here and then I took some time and I set up uh, farm plots and, and places to put the tools down and raw materials and waited and waited and they wouldn't do anything. It didn't dawn on me until a day or two into the game that they couldn't walk past the wagon to get, <laughs> to get in there. I had blocked the path. So give yourself a nice wide open area to, uh, to start the game. Anyway, let's begin. All right, so we're dropping in. It's raining. We've got, I think, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven dwarves. Your horses you came with, your wagons that are loaded with tools and seeds and building materials. We can build bridges to go across. If we want to get to somewhere else on the map, we can dig in. Let's figure out how to make a good little starting scenario here. We can mine, chop, clear which I don't need to use very often. Extinguish, we do get lightning, we do get fires, and cancel what you've done when you realize you shouldn't have. Um, construction, we can build. Paving, walls, doors, bridges, lanterns, pillars. What else do we have? Roofing, so whole roofing thing, kind of like RimWorld. You don't want to go dig out a great big space, it will collapse. You are allowed three away from a solid wall. Does this tell me here? View, this view allows you to see which tiles are outside with no roof above them, light blue. Those that have had a roof built over them, dark brown. I don't think it's this dark brown. Um, I'll let you read that. There we go. Constructed within three tiles. So a seven by seven, one more than three and three, will collapse on you. So get out of this mode. Right click. There we go. Power and water. So we can put in irrigation pipes power it's used to connect like the water wheel through gears to a device like a water pump or a an ore grinder so it's almost like a rotating shaft rather than what i think of as power what we think of as power meaning electricity is more just motion anyway windmill water wheel right click out of that we can demolish and we can cancel otherwise rooms which is very dwarf fortress like so all the different types of rooms and create a space and build the room in there click on it and you get the furniture that's allowed in that room so pretty simple once you uh, once you get used to it so let's dive into here i'm going to set up a few things before we get going we have a fourth wagon hiding over here uh, more tools buckets cauldrons barrels that sort of thing let's set up i want to say there's eight different seeds so let's put in eight different farm plots real quick um front door to the place let's make over here we'll put a kitchen over here so i want the gardens to be through this area so let's just plop in a three by six at the moment so i can see this so we need 16 spaces to get barley going 20 to get carrots going let's Hmm. Let's make room for at least a 20, we'll say 21. So like so, 3 by 7 but let's keep it to what it actually is right now so we don't do any unnecessary digging. So let's do that. You are going to be barley, you are going to be carrots. I'll set up the rest of these real quick and kind of follow in the same logic and you'll see how it goes. Okay, and with that we've got wheat seeds in here. So the same number of seeds is the same number laid out. Later, more seeds will come, seeds will go, this will change sizes, or they just will go unplanted. But that takes care of immediate farming. Our settlers have different skills available to them, and we have one, two, three, four farmers. Or you can click on farmers and find out that Halevi, yeah, 
Hyalmar, I'm not even going to try to pronounce these names, are farmers. <laughs> villager is a way of saying hauler. So villager just goes about their day moving things around the, the uh, settlement. We've got chef, blacksmiths, carpenters, farmers, weavers, woodcutters, miners, stonemasons, brewers, fisher, leather workers, artisans, and our villagers. And the game tries to give you a decent variety right off the start of, you know, of, of different jobs. So this person doesn't have anything assigned, so think about that. What do we have in the way of woodcutters? We have one. Wouldn't hurt to get a second woodcutter in there, so you can be a woodcutter uh, right there. Um, gonna need stonemasons. What's our miner? There's our miner. We only have one miner, so let's make you also a miner. So you can move back and forth between chopping and mining, and when there's neither of those, you can move things around. But you can go through and fine tune. Do we have any fishermen? We do not. So we'll assign somebody to do fishing when we get to that point. Bring in some extra food. Artisans make different craft items and, and what have you. So let's set up some trees to be chopped. Uh, right here, chop kind of do every other one they will if you leave them long enough they will drop seedlings and try to fill in where you have chopped down so I find if you don't take all of them then you've got a decent chance of getting some regrowth in here at this point I don't believe there's a way to replant them so be conservative in your in your tactics here and each of these different trees will give you different kinds of wood different colored uh, products that are being built with them so if you want to fine-tune and all of your doors would be a certain color or something you can do that um, let's get some mining going uh, we'll make our front door double hallway deep into something like that and Oh, let's set up just a quick little kitchen area, like so, and place to store foods off of the kitchen, and a some kind of a dining hall. That's one, two, three, four, five. We'll go six by something like that. We'll add six in there too. No more than six in any one direction, or in at least one direction let's put it that way six by whatever will be your maximum that you want to span and now we get that one going so I can release this I want to say um, mining trees food what else is rooms so we got the armory which comes a little later um, bakery artesian what was that noise? I think it was a tree going down. Kind of zoom in here so you guys can watch what's going on while I'm looking at this. Bedrooms will something that we'll be using rather quickly. Brewery, carpentry workshop, farm plots, feasting hall, fuel refinery. Okay, turning this coal into coke. Graveyard. Hopefully we'll need that for a while. Kitchen, we'll want to get that going pretty quickly. Leather works once we get some hunting done, which at this point is done with the military, so there's a little bit of work to set up to get that going. Masonry's workshop, we've got a mushroom farm, sawmill, smeltery, smithy, stockpiles. There is something that's kind of important. Let me set up some stockpiles real quick just to kind of get us going. Later we'll move the stockpiles inside, but at the moment just to kind of get the... Uh, the carts unloaded oh let's see let's go with a raw material stockpile at first just to give us a place to dump all these trees and all of the stone and that's just a generic raw materials at the moment you can go through and fine-tune it and say you want all but something logs and I want specifically the logs to now be over here where I'm going to build the sawmill but that will work for the moment um, Stockpiles, let's get tools unloaded and dropped nearby, like so. Oh, but when they touch, they all form one, so be careful of that. 
I'll have to go through and fine tune that a bit. You are still, no, you mixed up. So now you are raw materials and you are tools. Okay, we'll let that one run. They'll do their thing. And let's just spend that one song that was a little loud. You know how it feels a little quiet. But a lot of sound effects. I can hear the rain. I can hear them tapping away. I can hear them planting. And chopping. Tree going down. <laughs> and as they get done with their first job, they'll try their second and third. I, I want to explore a little bit of mixing these up. If you get somebody who is making blocks out of stones, they'll make their block and then they'll leave, waiting for a hauler to come back to move the next stone into place. So I wonder what happens if you were to make this one a villager and then this one turn back to that. Oh, it won't let me, huh? Interesting. Never mind. I was hoping if this was in that position, they would go from making the blocks to hauling the stone to making the blocks to hauling the stone. Hmm. I have to think about that. Maybe I'll just do that for the moment and see what happens. We'll explore that. See how we can fine-tune the game and make it work the way we want it to. Otherwise, I'm going to hit speed 2, which I don't normally do in games, but this one I will. There's, it takes a while to do a lot of the tasks. Um, let's set up a bedroom area for them to sleep. Now that we've got this kind of cleared out. Uh, bedroom. I'm just going to do something like... Let's go one more space. Tap one more. There we go. Get you guys under a roof. And let's just put a bunch of sleeping spots in here for tonight. These should insta-build. Except where there's a rock over them. Priority lets us to choose... Well... You can use this menu to change the priority of jobs and tasks so the higher priority jobs will be assigned before lower priority jobs. While the priority menu is open, the priority icons are shown in the game world where there is a job or task to be performed or where a room or item of furniture may create jobs in the future. So you get priorities for different items. I want this stone moved and pronto, but you've also got priorities for, oh, this stockpile is super important. I want to make sure that you guys always bring all the tools. Wait, let's rename that one. Tools to this one. And we'll increase the priority a little bit there. You are tools. You are tools. Okay. So you can fine tune things a little bit. Which is a feature I really wish that Stranded Alien Dawn had on their stockpiles. I'd love to move a few things here but most of the things over there. and You just don't have that kind of uh, fine tuning in that game. But this one does. Okay, so they got a place to sleep. Let's... Okay, we're digging into the kitchen now. Let's increase the priority in the kitchen at least. And say this much of the kitchen. Make sure that gets done. I want to put in at least a watering water barrel. A drinking barrel. So, rooms, kitchen get this going right now and get a water barrel into the corner and let's increase the priority on that one so it gets done they're oh they're all off getting a drink right now because there's no water in our settlement so that would would eliminate we just brought it over eliminate a lot of traveling if we can get water to here so let's now say i want highest priority i want this thing filled all the time um, they collapsed and went to sleep, so I guess the game didn't calculate this as a bedroom yet. Oh, there's still, there are some in there. You can barely see them. They're hiding, they're underneath. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah, so Magnhild is sleeping under this one. Okay, so Osmond didn't quite figure it out. He's a little slower than the rest, I'm guessing. Was he idling? He was idling. Let's make you a miner for... Miner, miner, miner. Yeah, we've got to fine-tune this a little bit. So he's idling because there's no stonemasonry work going on at the moment. And you're off to go get a drink, aren't you? Drinking from the river. Yep, you're a neophyte woodcutter. <laughs> and someone has dropped the hemp 
seeds out on the ground there. Come on, guys. So let's get a priority, major priority, on all of the gardens and make sure these get planted. There's definitely deadlines on these. I want to say the hemp first. That's why I did that one first. Let's see if they... No, it wasn't which one, whichever one was triggered first. It was whichever was closest. Yeah, she's just roaming around. Hemp, I've heard, will not get planted in... Well, not grow within the first year sometimes. And then the winter cold will wipe it out and you left without any seeds. So we'll let's make sure you get that one going while it's just day two of spring. We have a thunderstorm going on. Lightning is a thing, which is why we have extinguish. Kind of keep an eye on that. And I believe our little dwarfies can be can be uh, nailed as well. Let's increase this size. A little more of a kitchen this time. Drop in the kitchen workshop, our rotates. Drop in a cauldron. And actually I'm gonna drop in a second cauldron and let them start making foods and then let's get a place for them to uh, like that to be a um, uh, a dining hall we'll set up a table in here otherwise we've got most of the earth tilled and ready to plant seeds got the barley seeds in already over here um, a lot of trees have been taken down, a lot of logs waiting to be hauled. Nobody is doing any hauling. We'll kick the priority up a little bit. The wagons don't have a second use that I'm aware of, at least not at this point. Don't know if a later we'll be able to take off and go do some trading or something. You'll have traders that come into us. In fact, I want to think about getting that going here real quick. But we can set this guy up to be demolished. These symbols drop over it. I can increase the priority, I believe. Raw material stockpile, no. Anyway, this will be demolished. Everything will drop on the ground. We can get planks and and uh, wagon uh, wheel rings, hoop hoops, I want to say they're called, out of it and other materials. Um, traders. From what I've seen, there is like a spring trader and an autumn trader. At least the ones, the games that I have played by, you know, Set, you're getting ready for this let's play there were and when you miss them you miss them so let's i'm going to pause here so we can get to work on this soon sooner than later trading's down here let's get this going and in an area where there's easy access into it i'm going to say something like well also want to be able to bring our materials and drop them off to sell at the trader quickly so distance is a thing we could store a lot of things down here we could set up our our workshops down in here yeah let's trade up in this area so we'll say something like so we want to set up a well, at the very least a banner to say hey this is our trading post a hitching post to show the traders when they arrive where to park let's do yeah, three ought to be enough. Let's get a, well, a, a ledger table, a landmark for the trading post. This does not currently have any in-game effect, okay? But it looks great. Okay, you're going to go there. So there, there's, there's some things that aren't really uh, functioning yet in the game. Chest. I've, we've had some problems with this. I've, I've, uh, what, what's happened in a game that I was playing is they would use it at first and while there was only silver. As soon as gold coins got into play, then the gold coins would get dropped on the ground and, and uh, they would then ignore them. So I've learned to put in several chests and so we'll make more chests to make this work. But if we do something like this, we'll give them lots of places to drop it. That's one of the bugs in the game at the time of this recording and it's it's being worked on. You can you can follow their Discord and it's, it's known and they're working on it right now. Um, and then... The game uses import and export palettes to move things around. So in this case, we want to export what we want to sell. And then we want to import what we want to buy. And it's one item per. 
So let's set up oh, a variety of things to sell. And then I think I'll buy a bunch of seed. So we'll do import over here. Like so. It'll be one or two timbers for each of these. And we'll start building those timber timbers here real soon. You know, set up a, a carpentry shop. But we're just kind of getting indoors right now. We're going to start building bedrooms soon. Um, those that can build will be unloading the wagon soon. Which wagon was it that had the building supplies? Right there. So we've got 16 birch planks to start with. Oh, there, there we go. There's more of them. I thought 16 was kind of small. A lot of stone blocks. A lot of tin ingots and plates. Iron plates. And it does get quite dark. So eventually we'll set up lanterns in here and make this a little bit better. At the moment, darkness doesn't affect them. So they don't get a you know, a happiness debuff if it's dark, which is good because the lighting's kind of, uh, kind of limited at the moment. Um, I want to set up an area to start replacing our planks and our blocks as we start building all the different things on this map. So keeping in mind, we can go three away before a roof collapses. Let's mine out see we've got a table that we're going to build in there mine out let's see let's do something along these lines that's three deep let's take this whole bottom off we could hang on to the uh, the iron that's going to come out of here too um same thing here three deep and maybe right in here i'll set up a pillar and then i'll dig a little deeper around in here we can put roof out here as well uh, they don't like the rain so they get a negative if they're out in the rain. So you want to put their work areas under a roof. What built here? Oh, we just took out some plants. So we could say orders clear that bush if we wanted to. But they'll figure it out on their own. Already delivering building materials to start building these guys. I'm hoping to have enough of these going. Although I've got nothing to sell at the moment. So I guess it really isn't that critical. You know it's really not. Let's cancel... Can I do that? Yeah. Let's cancel those guys. We'll add more later. We'll cancel those and kind of save our building materials for what's needed. So let's get priority going into this area here. Get these guys mined out. Get the starting of a... Of a in fact, we'll do these two. Of a stone and wood production chain down here. You guys are still planting up here. We've had, what, four... People planting one two three four which means they're not blacksmithing not carpentering so really the miner is the only one that's got conflict right now so that's fine we do have wild animals about I'm not too sure about the elephants but we've got your hogs right wild boars should also have deer out here somewhere. That's a horse again. I don't know if those are our horses or if there are, if there are wild horses, but let that run. See if anything's moving. There's a lot of forest over here. I don't see any deer. I think they move in and out. I think other animals will show up. Military is something we'll deal with another episode. We'll set up a squad, put at first just hammers and axes on them for weapons but uh, eventually we'll, we'll get a whole weapon production chain going and set up a formal military right now we can hunt with you know barely trained hunter uh, military we'll put it that way but uh, i wouldn't go after an elephant with one of them <laughs> all right let's stick a pillar in here construct build pillar to support the roof a bit Get that guy built as soon as possible. And then I'll try digging out a little bit deeper into here. We're getting a bunch of stone that has... Oh, it has uncut gems, Jasper. But this has hermit, uh, hematite, which I believe turns into an iron. So we're also going... Boy, it's dark again. Also going to need some coal. So let's just queue up some of this. Mine just to have it available. Right there and right there. 
and not super necessary at the moment. Now, while it is nighttime, though, it automatically drops into speed four at nighttime to uh, get you through it. But let me go ahead and drop it into speed two, and let's play with the idea of carpentry and stone. So, rooms, carpenter's workshop. Per uh, produces most of the wooden tools and items. That's not it. Sawmill is what I'm looking for. Um, sawmill. Wooden logs are refined into planks here. So let's set up a sawmill area. And I'm still waiting for that guy to get built, that pillar. Sawmill is going to have a wood cutting bench. R rotates around. Do something eh, like that right there. And want the import, which will be raw logs. And export is going to be uh, planks. And I want to say barrel. Oh, what do you call them? Do I have any of these built yet? Yeah. I'll know them when I see them. The curved pieces of the barrel. What are the... There we are. Barrel staves. Yeah. Things you can make in the sawmill. And we don't need that much room. So let's go ahead and minus. Take out that. That's enough for a quick little sawmill right there. Building the pillar so we can expand the, the area without a roof. Do that and that. Three this way, three that way. I think that is stable. Though... We'll find out. <laughs> well, they'll find out. <laughs> Anyway, let's get into stone now. So, next one will be stone mason. Where is that symbol? Masonry workshop produces most of the items made out of stone. So, no, I don't think that's it. Or is it it? It might be. Where you make stone blocks? Where is the other one? Smithy. I think that is it. I think so. So let's drop you into here for now. Actually, you take a little more room. I'm hearing a lot of noises. These guys are really going at it. It's 3 in the afternoon already. I'm going to slow this down a little bit. Because I'm doing more talking than I'm actually able to get out here and really enjoy the game. So I want to put in a stonemason's workbench. Yeah, this is the one. So the entrance is... It seems to be... Maybe I'm not big enough. Every time I pop out, it plus... Okay, I want to see this again. I'm trying to get this opening to the right. Flip it over. It's at the top. Flip it over again. It's over on the left again. Hmm. I'm going to go for that then. So they can come around like so. And an ore crushing station. This is one of the items that you would power later. It does not rotate yet. Drop that into there, and maybe before this series is over, we'll get some power to it so we can see how that works. Um, tells you what it's going to take to build them, too. I didn't point that out before. So this guy's going to take a chisel, a hammer, three rough boulders, and three planks to build. Back into the masonry workshop, I want import. And there's actually quite a few imports on this one. So let's import. Actually, let's import through here. Four imports, turn you off, and grab a couple of exports, and we'll see how that works. As we get closer to it, we can choose what's going to go in them. Um, you have not been built yet. Let's get you set up, get at least one of these going. Do we have a chest? We haven't really unloaded the wagons yet. No, we haven't. We will we'll get there eventually. You guys build this. We've got the imports going on here. So our export. So we're going to export staves. We're going to export planks. We're going to take this down to a much lower priority. We already have quite a few staves, so we don't need to worry about it. You eventually are going to import logs. All right, so you are going to export planks. You will be the highest priority. I do need lots and lots of planks. And I'm still waiting for this guy to be built. Let's put its priority up so it gets built tomorrow and take you up to speed two to get through the night you also a high priority let's get you going you not so much yet now 
we need to be able to replace some of these tools. There aren't enough tools that you arrive with to build all of the different rooms. So we want to make sure that we have the ability to create tools before we get too deep into this or we'll run out of tools. And I haven't found a way to make them share. I've had to do, you know, delete something to get an ax so we can go and do something else or what have you. This one's about to be mined. So it flags you with, with the, uh, the job that's going to be worked on next. So apparently we have two miners on the way down here to bang on these. And planks are being delivered for this guy to get it built because I kicked the priority up, so they're they're concerned about it. Over here, what do we have going on? We've got water barrel, high priority. Make sure that is always full. Let's get this stone out of here. Let's turn you down so I can take my time and think. It's not going to let me. Interesting. Exploration. Your miners have discovered a new area. Go to the location. We are paused. We've... Oh. <laughs> we have little mushroom people in here. I don't think they're super dangerous. I think they're more just... What the heck? Than anything else. Yeah. We'll try just letting them roam about. It might be that they scare our people, then our people don't work. In which case, we're going to have to go and eliminate them. We'll ignore them for a little bit and let them kind of roam around. Let's, let's see if we can see a, a reaction here. Okay, you are fleeing from combat. Okay, so we do have to deal with these guys. Okay, so I guess we get a little exposure into combat here at the very beginning. Military. We need to pick some military. So military dwarves at the moment are none. Let's go to trained civilians. They're all novice brawlers. All dwarves know how to throw a punch. Even the ladies. So we need preferably somebody who's not super important right now, which is our carpenters and stonemasons. So you are a blacksmith. We don't have any blacksmithery going on right now. So you're probably just delivering. So we'll make you a military. Squad number one. Yeah. The novice brawlers. Brawls. Okay, the novice brawl. You are, and it takes away everything else that they do, so they're either military or they are not. Which is kind of frustrating when you've only got seven of these guys. Every spring you get a chance of, a, of immigration coming in based upon, I believe, how much food you've amassed and have, still have through the winter to prove that you can feed them. So get those gardens going, get the kitchen going, and you could have another seven dwarves show up. You know, rolling through the, just finishing the winter. Um, gardening and mining is important. Gardening and blacksmithing. We've got two of each. Let's take you, make you military. And you're going to be assigned to that one, yes. And... Miner, stonemason, carpenter. Let's grab you as well. It gives us three. Okay. Now we'll pop over to the military. And unarmed will tell you to... I assume that means... Zero of one? Is it zero or one? I'm not sure. I think if it's there that means... Oh, okay. That means you can click on it. We have two of these and one of those. And I take it this is the quality. Okay, we'll grab that. You can grab onto a hammer and do that one. And the different materials. So you can grab onto, we'll go to kitchen knife. Now let's go back. I want to get one that had two different materials. So I'm assuming that there's steel and iron. So the different materials you make, the different woods you that you chop down, the different stones that you mine will give you different types of items when you construct them. But we'll go with steel. That gives us weapons. We probably don't have any kind of shields at the moment. Don't have any kind of armor at the moment. So these guys are going in bare bones, but these aren't uh, um, difficult enemies. They're more just to wake you up and, and show you that uh, this is what the military is for. So military, we're going to take the novice brawlers and choose what formation they're going to use. Let's go with Grid Narrow. Just keep them bunched together so they can help each other. 
and we're going to give them orders. We're going to attack one at the moment. And let's just see how this goes. So our miners are now highlighted in blue. One, two, and three, and they're on their way. This guy, Hilevi, is not a military and is fleeing for his life. What the heck are those? And the others are or should be on their way. If I click on military, they'll light up. Okay. So, boy, they are... These guys are a lot more aggressive than I remember them being. These guys are just thinking about it. They're not really trained military. They, uh... Yeah. They're like, oh, I don't know about this. So, are we going to... It looks like... Yeah, let's just, let's just watch this happen. I've only played with the military once in one of my, my playthroughs, and it took a while. You took a swing at... At Osman, who I don't get the sense has any injuries out of that. I'm trying to remember if this game is like Dwarf Fortress or, or RimWorld in that there is a list of, of uh, injuries and, and events. These are our military. They're all trying to, trying to get up the courage to go and do something there. I think these two are kind of going at it. The rest of them, yeah, we're going at it up here. Okay, then let's grab a new... I guess we'll just select them all. The target's over there, and they're not going after them. So let's military and target all of these guys. You also do that to hunt. So we could hunt this way, too. One, two, three, four, five. Did you... Are there any more still inside? I feel like there were six of them. Ah, there you are, six. Okay. And drop in. Now we have more targets to hit. I'm hoping the rest are going to continue doing their jobs. Yeah, we're just we're just thinking about this. We're not really uh, getting all that excited. So why is that? Okay, well I'm hearing some noises, some swiping. I believe they are attempting to. I'm not getting any sense of contact though. But again, we have you know novice. Okay, I think I'm going to have to tell everybody to be in the military to get through this. So, let's go to train civilians. You are all in the military now. All of you go and grab a pitchfork or a kitchen knife or whatever you can find. Right there. You guys, squad, how do I get back to what you're carrying? I don't know. There we go. Okay, let's give you some kind of a weapon. We'll use the axes until they're gone. You can grab... Oh, you can grab a large hammer. And why don't you grab a kitchen knife? That one right there. And you... Let's see what a pickaxe can do. Okay. Everybody is now drafted. Everybody. Go and clear out some enemies. Stop dancing. Get in there and do it. So, do we still have anybody out here? We, You're down. I think you you were killed by an elephant. Ah, okay, guys. Push them over to the herd, okay? Okay, these guys are chasing this one in, and they're going at it. Finally have some action. I guess we had the wrong ones in the military. We needed... Neo... No, we needed Halevi. Halevi to uh, show them how it's done. I love you. Go finish that job. Um, who who ran away into here? I don't know. The battle's out here, guys. Come on. And we're chasing this one in. Yeah, they're gonna take care of them eventually. There we go. We're starting to take them down. Okay, they just—they've never done this before. They're a little uh, worried. I mean, how often do you have uh, mushroom people coming at you in the dark? <laughs> We've got uh, Inger here to uh, try and. And uh, single-handedly finish the whole thing. We're not taking any damage, which is good. But we're not quite uh, finishing the job that easily either. Later we will have a trained military that has a clue what they're doing. This one is fleeing. And this will go a lot less embarrassingly. But <laughs> anyway, in the, let's set up a kitchen area out here kitchen. 
I like to do my butchering outside, whether it's RimWorld or this one. So a butcher workshop here, and we do butcher the uh, these guys as one way to get rid of their corpses. So I don't know that it actually gives you a meat you can use. I'm not sure about that. Are we still going after? We still have a military. We still have a target. One enemy, two, three enemies still. Okay, they are... I'm going to undraft them if that's what it takes to make sure that that they uh, um, get their food and water and what have you. Or should I? Because we're all just kind of... Let's, let's give them some time. Maybe they had to kind of do a little powwow there. Yeah, they need to figure out a new game plan because what happened yesterday didn't work too well. But if you were all to gang up on the same one, you know, that would that would do the job real well. Come on, don't let him pass. Don't let him get by. Oh, the goalie let the ball go by. Come on, get him done. All right, well, if you can just push him over to the elephants, they'll get the job done for you. So much for getting our planting done. Apparently we took that one out. Okay, so... Guys, can you, can you finish the job here? We might, at some point today, if there's just the one left, release everybody. Ah, oh, that one just went down. And I'm going to do just that. Let's leave... Magnahild and Helevi in the military. And... And I, let's see, how did I do this before? We'll do it this way. So, Darby is no longer. You are, you are not. You are, and the rest of you are not. You guys go back to work. Go do what needs to be done. Let these two finish this one off. Eventually, we will get food. So, storage. Food in here including corpses this one will get done uh, the uh, uh, butchering table and that will take care of all the bodies laying around there's still the one fleeing and we still have all oh, those two soldiers in here somewhere going after them right there yeah so we need to work on bows and arrows we got the oh we almost dropped off one but that one scared her away but eventually we get the corpses up in here Okay, that was exciting. What, where were we when this chaos happened? We were building these guys. So, we've got a stone workbench. I want you at high priority. Now, oh, we've got no no uh, import or export pallets yet. We do over here. So, you are going to be logs coming in. Logs or mushroom logs. We don't have any tall mushroom trees. Music changed. I think we are done. We are done. I think that's him right there. So let's turn off the military completely so we can get everybody back to work. So we have just kind of a, a Minuteman militia going on right now, not a formal military. Um, logs are going to be coming in. I want you to be a high priority. Let's do this. So this whole thing is going to be high priority. I want these guys going. I want probably, well, those two and those two high priority get them going. And you, this symbol over here, crafting, tells us how this works. A log makes three barrel staves. It makes two planks. Or one mushroom log makes two planks. We don't have mushroom logs to deal with. But we can get that going. So high, highest priorities and get the logs brought in, which are sitting out in the dark, right out here in the woods. So they'll start bringing those in tomorrow. Uh, waiting for these guys to get built. And next we want to get our tool operation going, which means what? Let's start building some interior rooms here. What, what actually came of this right here? We've got red, so that's our iron. Well, I haven't proved that yet. And you look like gems. We've got... I only click into the... or pass over the mountain, the light goes away. So not a lot of great things discovered in there other than mushrooms, which I'm going to guess we can eat. There's something hiding in here, though. Right there, probably more gems. We'll see when we get there. Okay, grabbing logs, making planks. This particular log, which is ebony, makes a almost black wood ebony planks. 
and makes really dark barrel staves, for example. So tools, handles, and whatnot are going to come out real dark by using this wood, which comes, I guess, from these trees here, ebony tree, versus a, got to click the base, a sycamore tree, or what are you, like a birch? Aspen tree. You are oak trees over here. So we have four different trees available to us. You up here are hmm, baobab. <clears throat> yeah, a different kind of tree. <laughs> um, we do have basic trading available. No, we still need to get one chest going. Maybe we need to make our first chest. Okay, traders could be here at any time. So I want to really start concentrating on that. Let's get basic tools and whatnot coming in and get ready for the traders and we'll call this episode done. So let's order mine. Let's come out of here, drop into a, oh, a six by something room. Like so, leave a space, another six by something room and another way in. We'll communicate these guys together like so. Uh, no, we got we got pallets here, so there's a pathway in, and that'll be yeah, that, that'll work right there. Okay, so let's increase the priority here. Let's get at least this one done as soon as we can. Um, you are the stonemasons bench. You're up and running, which means we can turn boulders into blocks, uncut gems into gems. We can create a millstone for making flour and breads and get the bakery going. We can we can mill or, well, what do you want to call it? Hew out stone pipes for moving water around. So that's going to be necessary here real soon. Um, these are not growing that well because they're not irrigated. They have to manually plant the, or work on them. Let's... I want to find out. Hemp was here. Corn. Tomato. Hemp. Hemp makes cloth, makes beds. And I want to get that going. Beds, import. So we want to bring in, I want to bring in linen. That's what I'm looking for. It's, problem is we have nothing to sell at the moment. But when the traders do arrive, hopefully linen is something we can that we can bring in. Um, irrigation might get that hemp growing faster. That's what I was trying to get to, but really don't have the way to create all that yet. So we'll get back to this. Trying not to get too much ahead of myself, but there's so much in this game already. There's, there's a lot of stuff to build. All right, so did I get the priority going? I did. Just a matter of getting the the miners down there. Um, some of these folks may have mining as their second job. That might be what's going on. So you're farming and mining. You are stonemasoning first and then mining. So you're going to be making blocks for us. Let's swap these around. Let's make, well, villager and villager. So let's make you a miner first, a stonemason second. When there's no mining to do, you go back and make more blocks. And that will hopefully free up another person. Maybe we get, yep, three of them going now. Perfect. So we get this cleared out. Hopefully get these built. We need a carpenter to do that. Now, are any of you guys also carpenters? You are a woodcutter, but there's no more trees to cut down. You are a miner first. You are a farmer second. Other farmers are out here watering. Someone's got to haul in more of these bodies. We could increase the priorities to get that one out of here. And yeah, we get all these bodies hauled in. How are we doing here? Okay, we could take these out as well and put stone walls in. But we've got quite a bit of the hermitite ore going. Let's turn you on. Higher priority. So we can watch that happen. And we're starting to get this going. So let's get these. This is an export. I want to export blocks. I want to export... Oh, crushed ores on the other one. Let's do gems here. You are finished? Yes, you are going to be a stone coming in to be turned into blocks. And let's get two stones coming in so that they are already sitting in place so that we can just keep 
building blocks out of this. And actually, to cut our pathway down, let's make you blocks and let's make you gems. There won't be that many gems. So when these two are done, I'll put gems right there. And they'll drop them off over here. But this will give us the quickest running you know, pathway for getting our blocks going. Um, anything else going on over here? This one... Increase the priority in this area. Yeah, these two are pretty important, so I'll take you guys to max priority. Now, like most games, priority tool is your friend and your enemy. Everything at high priority means that nothing is at high priority, so do keep that in mind. Um, in here, we want the what? What was I going for in here? Um, I know we need to be building chests. And with that, we can also build some trade goods. So that would all be the carpenter's workshop. Let's go with the full room for now. We'll like this one. We'll, we'll clip away what we don't need. Maybe, maybe we can get two different things in here. You need to be the carpenter. And that works out well to the pathway right there. So I'll do that. And then we need imports. We're going to need planks. I'm trying to do this from memory. Uh, barrel staves. We're going to need ho uh, hoops. And there might be one more. I'll go with those three. We're going to export lots of things that we're going to be making. We can Each one of these we set up for a different category. So let's do that. And let's kick the priority up on this. I want to get this built as soon as possible. So the carpenters will be working over here. The miners will be working over here. And let's pull this back maybe we can still use this space for something else okay so let's get everything hauled out of here and that's what they're doing they're clearing out they're bringing planks to try to get these built which means we need lots of planks being made let's take out the cart that had the rest of the planks right there just to get them on the ground and we can use the planks from the cart too and if we wanted to we could even increase the priority and say hey let's let's take this down sooner than later all right, so let's get a storage going for these ore stones. Kind of get them cleared out, give them a place to go that's just for them. So storage, stockpile, and let's grab a... Oops, that didn't work. Stockpile, and I have to choose raw materials. Let's grab a space like that. And you will be only ore yeah, it starts as ore, it becomes crushed ore. Okay, so ore is going to go in there in the highest priority. That will get a lot of these cleared out. In fact, I should be able to choose now which of these to go. Well, only, I guess, the first eight or ten that we made are, are giving us the ability to increase the priority and get them going. But let's get this guy going so we can get him out of our pathway at least. And I wish these guys would pop, but... They're not at the moment. Any ore up in here that's in our way? No. Nope. Okay. But we can sp specify stockpiles and kind of fine-tune things there. Just got that one moved and out of our pathway. Nice to get that one out of the pathway, too. Um, okay, we're in here. We are building. We are... We've got four logs available for our assigned. We've got all of our planks, our stones... We've got a plane left and our saw left. So we've got the priority increased. This whole area we're building import and export pallets. We're going to import the planks. We're going to import the barrel hoops. And we're going to export first a chest. So we can get this guy going before the traders show up. And then we want to export something to sell a plane. As soon as this guy pops, we can look at the uh, the crafting menu and see what we're capable of doing. We could trapped. Ooh. Now this is a little buggy at the moment. Some of them are not really trapped. It just triggers it. Go to location. Yes. Yeah, she put something down in her pathway. And for a split second, it looked like she was trapped. But she's fine. You are the ore crafting station. You can see works very slowly, not enough power. You can eventually be powered with 
a water mill or windmill and then power that runs from here up through with these shafts to wherever the windmill is or the water mill all the way up there. I think we're going windmill down here. But windmill takes a lot to build. Not that much. Not as much as I thought, though. It does need linen. We don't have linen right now. Okay. But this guy then will crush ore into crushed ore, which gets us access to the materials inside to get to the coal, to get to the hematite. Is that what I had said? Hematite. And... Eventually, we get into the Jasper Gems, which is up in here. Yeah. Let's get some more. An import pallet, uh, like so, and an export. Something like that. Yeah, we'll do two of them. Okay. So, we will start bringing all of these, law, these uh, boulders over here to be crushed, dropped onto the pallet, and then eventually used. So eventually we're going to need to do some forging to make the real tools. These are just kind of the, the wooden tools, we'll say. But we're going to need a, a, a smelter going. We're going to need to create uh, fuel to, to fuel it. We're going to need quite a bit. What's been happening here? You are an export. Okay, the different things we're going to make. We're going to make shields. We're going to, to sell. We're going to make fishing rods. And let's make rolling pins. So wood is a quick... Okay, I can't make these out of... Oh, I can choose which wood I want to use. But I can't make stone ones, unfortunately. So we do need to have good access to a forest as you begin. At least these are the things that I found that you make the, the quickest and easiest to be able to sell something. So you are an export. Let's export wooden plane and fishing rods there's one let's just get you higher priority and let's export uh like rolling pins actually the, the plane where's the plane there you are so we'll export those we'll bring in linens we'll hopefully we'll probably next episode we'll we'll see that function okay what got done else over here are these all lit up they are and they've all been assigned Coming in, we've got the planks, we've got the hoops, and we want the barrel staves, and that takes care of the end. Still waiting for this guy to get built. Not missing anything. It worries me when it takes too long, because they might use some of these planks building something like this, and suddenly you can't build this anymore. So, just a matter of them getting to it. We are running, we are. But, at some point I'm going to have to wrap this episode up. It's one of those games that there really is no ending. You just want to keep going and then you realize it's two in the morning or something. So, um, you're there. I'm just looking at our support systems right now. I think I will wrap this right here. I'll probably record another one as well. We'll get into the smeltery, which requires the fuel refinery beforehand. We have two different ways to make fuel. Need to smelt to get metals. We need to do something with those metals. The oh I'm wanting to say it's like a forge. What am I the smithy. So craft metal tools with that. There's also the armory which crafts metal weapons and armor. So we've got bows and arrows. We've got arrows made out of metal made out of bone from the hunting and yeah there's there's a lot to this anyway let's wrap this one up call this done and i'll catch you next time thanks for watching folks Bye bye